From the depths of the Pacific Ocean to the peaks of the Ko'olaus, many Kanaka thrive in this paradise. But one hammer just does it more better. Well, ah, uh, Lord, I'm about to out and call my mic to find Angry. Come on, my to another episode of Fine Day and Grind. I'm Brother L. This is Pocky. This is our sidekick, Blue Who, the rapping Uhu. Yes, sir. My name is Blue Who, and I'm the sidekick. If you mess with the brothers, I will uppercut your dick. Okay, enough for that. Well, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so you know that means the beach is going to be nice and clear. Everybody will be at home watching the game. So we're going to head down to White Plains side. I see what we can find and grind. Fishing time. We went with Pocky, couple of the baseball boys. See what we can make happen. Get a real job. Ah, oh, Lord. So going into this day, we never really have a target species of what we was gonna find and grind. I love you. But I knew the boys wanted to chef something up, so I had to think of a good one, something that we all never eat before. Oh, then mahalo to my good brother Fred X Vegas for the background music. Go check him out on all music platforms, including YouTube. First stop, Bait Shop. Fuck it, I grabbed a big one. He had a real job. And me and Pox had the pleasure of meeting this Hamel fisherman right here, Arthur. Super Bowl Sundays is the best time to go out and do outdoor activities. Because all the roads is clear. Everybody at home drinking beer. Have no fear, because Brother Al is here. And by the way, I know I small kind of late uploading this episode, but eh, better late than ever. I know I always say this, but I can't say it enough. Lucky we live Hawaii. But the mainland guys is out there freezing the nuggets off. We still be a chilling at the beach and surf shorts. Walk out to that stuff. All right. Ah, he lost it. He lost it. So that strike, we just threw the pole out. Pocky was about to put the bell on. It's something which smashed the bait. But we never get one strike the rest of the day. Right there, Chef Troy. We noticed that ball out in the middle of the ocean, that black ball in the middle of the screen. We thought it was sardines. So he's over there trying to work that ball, see if he could catch something. Uh, later on in the day, his dad hooked something up in that ball and he brought it up and it wasn't a sardine. It looked maybe like a baby alba or something. But fishing was shitty. We never catch jack shit. So the boys was out there catching some bombers. Pocky was practicing for the Eddie I Call Big Wave Invitational. Yeah, well, since we never hunt up on any fish, I look for other means of survival. Let's go. Um, yeah, I might as well tell the boys you crazy bastards was coming. Go get us the food. Pocky. Oh, 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 she, she, she. Oh, the cucumber wrangler. 
Well, aloha and welcome to the Fine and Grind Outdoor Kitchen. Today, we'll be cooking up some sea cucumber. Now that's some bullshit. First off, give this bugger one smell. It smells like the ocean. You gotta smell everything. All right, first we're gonna give this bugger one fast kind butcher in the ocean. Forget off all the sand. And uh, I'm gonna use a double fist twist technique. Ladies, take notes. Okay, now we're gonna cut both sides of the sea cucumber. First, we're gonna start off with the butt side. Um, I believe this is the butt side because when I would slice them, everything came out the puka. Turn them around, cut the head side off. And then we're gonna cut right down the middle to expose all the guts. Right there, take out all the guts. And his inside was filled with all sand and rocks. Like when filter for the ocean floor. Cut off the two ends, make them look pretty. Now the thing look like one popolo nut sack. Ooh. Well, that's doodle, baby. Now we're just gonna fumble his guts fast, guy, you know. Take them apart, check out what's inside. It's crazy, it's filled with rocks and sand. Like on filter. Now this is where I made the epic fail. Did you see that part that I'm scraping off from the inside of the sea cucumber? That's the part we're supposed to eat. Now that's what I get for not doing my research beforehand and just winging it. But that part will look slimy and nasty, so I just went toss that bugger. But that's the part we're supposed to grind. Oh well, brother Al, you gonna learn today. Right now I just give him another quick botcha. Rinse that bugger off. So my plan was to cut it into smaller strips so that everybody could have a piece. As soon as I sunk the knife into the first strip, I knew it was gonna be a disaster cause that bugger was hard for cut. And I get brittle teeth so I knew I was gonna have a hard time biting this bastard. Put your favorite beer inside. Yikes. So my theory was to boil them in beer first to soften that bug up but um my theory never worked and we're gonna find that out in a little bit so after we pour out the beer we're gonna add some oil to them and we're gonna add hawaii's favorite ingredient garlic salt it's, uh, And we'll melt down some butter in there for that extra flavor. And I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't wait for try this burger. The thing was looking and smelling winners, baby. Hey! On fried sea cucumber, try this bug out. I can't even bite this fuck. I just think I'll break my teeth. Look, the fucking shit. Then it's like sample one. So, how is it? No, no, I don't need it. It's too hard. Are you gonna swallow it or what? He's gonna swallow them. I couldn't even bite them. My teeth sore right now. <laughs> You like try one more? Just in case the first one was it was it one good one? Nope. 
Ja, det är det då. Fuck his turn. Fucking hell, you drool! I bit into it and it gushed a little bit. <laughs> 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 I call this guy 400. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Troy. Where are you going? Oh, one CQ combo. I never dust. That bugger was nasty and hard. Almost gonna break my teeth on him. Well, after that, epic fail. I decided to practice my throw net skills for when I encounter one iguana. This is how I'm gonna catch that bugger. I guarantee you. Well, after another couple <laughs> fails of trying to catch Pocky. The boys decided to go do their own find and grind. You need that. <laughs> well, these little hammers ended up catching some of our crabs, cooking them up. Garlic, salt, and butter. Yes. They will survive. Well, most of the time, people in Hawaii usually eat these crabs raw, pokey style. As some shoyu, <laughs> chili pepper, you know, mono, uh, sesame oil, and just smash. Most cooked. Then brother Bennett went on a mission for PPP. I think only Pocky had it before. None of them had this before. So this was something new for them. And then Bennett is using the ancient Chinese secret, using the fishing hook for get the snail out the shell. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that for that. Even though the sea cucumber was an epic fail, at least we know what not to do next time. And the boys had fun out there on this beautiful day, finding and grinding things they never did before. At least they will learn some life lessons and if shit ever hits the fan, they will survive. Hey, mahalo for tuning in to another episode of Fine and Grind. And until next time, get a real job. Oh, Everybody move out the way. It's the HI. We stepping up in that game. It's the HI. Everybody in the 808 scream HI. Yes, it's the HI tribe. It's the